Good evening. We have, of course, at 6 p.m. here at the Craft Store, a brand new one day special. And it is by Studio Light and the amazing Janine's Mindful Art Collection. And somebody who you may know, of course, if you are a fan of the Craft Store, because that's the most amazing, beautiful demonstrations with the Studio Light projects, is, of course, our Lou Withers, who join us via Skype. Hello, Lou. How are you? Hi. I'm glad to be here at last. Yeah, it was great that... Um that, that Charmaine was actually able to stand in last night so we could rearrange it for today. So it's been a bit bad, a mad dash, but we're here. Yes. You are here, you are here, and of course the One Day Special is here. Now, this is the Janine's Mindful Art Collection, the four stamp sets and four stencils, 43 individual stamps in total. And now, we are gonna go into details exactly of what you are getting, but before that, uh, can you introduce us, Alou, to Janine's Mindful Art Art. Uh, what is the, who is Janine, and also uh, what is so important about the mindful, uh, mindful, ex uh, mindful world? Um, Janine's been uh, she's extremely um, well known and renowned, you know, in in Holland and Europe, and she's got her own range now, and it's all about taking time for yourself, and we sort of got on really well because of the mindfulness and she she wants to take those elements that everybody can use and create beautiful pieces of artwork journal work scrapbook and and it can cross all sort of genres and it's all about just enjoying what you've got using it together and i've been i mean i haven't had this long but i have so many ideas with this and i think that shows a good collection when you can just take it and go and run with it and then come up with these ideas but it's all about that mindfulness you know taking the time and enjoying what you do she's really good at that so i love that concept and i know that you're a fan as well of course of the yeah. mindful exercises now let's uh, have a breakdown of what you are getting now because this is our brand new one day special 43 stamps in total uh now for stencils of course some of them have got many elements into it now the uh, the uh stamps and stencils can be bought in pairs so what you're seeing in the screen this would be a bundle if you wanted to go for individuals, this would be another bundle and so on and so forth. So you would have got four individual pairs. Now, however, the one day special. Now, uh, you can see that you are getting all of them. So you remember four stamp sets, four um, dice, uh, um, stencils, and you have got there the price. If you're not a Freedom member, uh, you know, you, you pay, you're saving three pounds, uh, 48 pounds and 92 pence is your price. Now, you're saving three pounds. However, if you are, let's break it down in the middle. Top left, let's start here. Now, the sunflower and script. Now, this bundle, if you were going to buy it individually, you have got a three pound saving. So you're paying 11.98. Now, the item number is 715323. Remember, this is not the one day special. The one day special is the complete collection. Then we have another option. Maybe you just want the Dahlia and the Grunge. I love, love this stencil. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this is a three pound saving again, 11.98. So if you were buying these two, you would have a six pound saving. Where? Then we have the peony and decorative. So you can see in here, absolutely stunning. Uh, and look at the size of the stamp sets. Look at that. I mean, it's massive. I mean, my hand from top to bottom is just under eight inches. You can see about seven inches in there. So uh, of course, it is absolutely and beautiful with all those elements. Again, a three pound saving different item number 464-977. And then finally, the last duo is your Violet Floral. Now again, a 13 pounds and 98 pence is the price with the three pounds saving, 367-835. Now, if you were gonna buy them in, like in, in, in pairs, you would have a 12 pounds saving. That 12 pounds saving carries forward and an additional three pounds saving, which makes it a 15 pounds saving. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you get an additional 10% uh, saving. So that means actually your saving is 19 pounds and 89 pence because that 12 pounds carries forward plus an additional seven pounds 89. Seven, seven plus nine, yeah, play, it's, it's nine, yeah. Seven plus two is nine, yeah. So it has the 19 pounds and 89 pence a saving. And of course you don't pay P and P either. Now, if you want to go for the one day special, remember you are getting everything that you are seeing, the four stamp sets, the four stencils, 747615 is the item number for the one day special. 
Now, of course, if you want to go for another brand new collection from uh, the beautiful uh, Studio Light, we have got the Flower Essentials as well. Now, brand new and again, massive florals. I mean, this one is like, this is the full eight inches. I mean, look at this, the size of this. It, uh, look, they are proper big flowers, aren't they? Yeah, and do you know what? It's so nice because they fill a page. You're instantly done them. But then there's room inside there to do stuff for yourself, isn't it? Like doodle or anything else, colour. Yeah. So I like stamps like that. Absolutely. I'm going to turn them around so you can get an idea of what you can create with those gorgeous, uh, for instance, uh, irises. Is it irises, this one's here? And then yeah, you can... Right. Oh, look at these ones. Absolutely stunning. And, and also, you are right, it's big enough that you can actually doodle inside those beautiful florals. And then we are going to show as well the tulips and then we have also the daisies kind of element in or gerberas as well. Absolutely stunning. Seven pounds and fifty pence is a uh, you know say a saving, which is a massive saving if when you consider it that you are just paying twenty six pounds and forty six pence. Eleven stamps, but they are massive. Uh, some of them and and also Lou. It's mm -hmm. nice to have the smaller ones. For instance, in this one, yeah. you have got the, the hero image, but then you have got the smaller flowers, so you can build bouquets if you wanted to. Yeah, and that's exactly what one of my first um, demos is where you mask off and you can just add, a, you can make the bouquet, anybody, and any size. But, I mean, we... We always forget, don't we, that there's a lot of men that like flowers and gardening. So Absolutely. flowers can, anybody, and who doesn't like flowers really? So I don't, the, the one of them that they, they go across scrapbooking, um, journal, everything. They see everything, don't they? Uh, very busy for this bundle, and you're absolutely right. For any gardener, including Mel, that could be amazing. And in Bindridge as well, 10% already yeah. gone of this bundle, 26 pounds and 46 pence. Uh, remember that, of course, the Studio Light is based in the Netherlands, so there is a little bit of an ex extended delivery. It will be dispatched on the 24th of May. Uh, right, moving on to uh, now, pick a mix of paper pad. <sighs> it's a brand new. I hear you are very excited about this bundle. Uh, I am. Um, I look, I got these and I'm like oh oh oh, and then I realised that the underneath is a different colour but a new but a tone of it. I'm like oh, oh oh really really. So what I've done is I've saved half and put one side to one side, but they're actually beautiful. Be I know you appreciate card. You'll like these. Uh, yeah. What? And I like the, the tones. <laughs> Opposite, opposite. They're nice colours. They are absolutely gorgeous. Now, the other thing that I love about them is that you have got different options. So, for instance, you, you can see it here, what you were saying about the two tones in there. Yeah, yeah. Some of them, they're harder to see than others, but they are actually... And it's brilliant because then you've got four, really, you yeah. know. And and the Christmas one, oh, my word. My fa I adore the new... I okay. can't... Mm. Have I got mm. a favourite? No. Which no, one? Yeah, I love them all. it's a little Christmas. Oh, I love this. I love them all. This is stunning. Okay, let me do it the other way around. Let's do it like this. It's so you stunning. Can see. Look and see. You can see the both colours in there. This Look. is one of my favourite things so far this year. These colours because this takes all and all the fear out of colour and matching and but they all match against across each other as yeah. well. Is that two? That's really good price. That. It is, and of course you are choosing any two. You will get 170 GSM papers, which means that also this is ideal for stamping onto because oh, it's yeah. smooth. But they're matting and layering as well. Absolutely. This one, I love this one. Mm. This one has just got. It's just got that appeal to me of vintage and, for, you know, beautiful sort of French chic. Neutrals go with everything as well, especially nature. So this is just stunning. I, yeah, it's my favourite. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, £10.48 pence is your price. 225-180 is your item number. Now, of course, you choose whichever two are your favourite and then you just pay £10.48. Already very busy for the next item and I'm not surprised because we always <laughs> love a little bit of watercolours. This is our Essentials, our Studio Light Essentials watercolour set. And you can see it yes. here. Uh, why do you like them so much, Lou? I'm always apprehensive about watercolours because they have to prove themselves to me because I love them and, I, and I'm not being rude but I do know a little bit about them yeah. so they have to a lot to prove and yeah yes they stand up to 
a lot of scrutiny and I love them. And they, we can't get enough of these. And these colours are really sort of, um, they're not normal colours as you would get in an, in, in an ordinary pan set. These are the ones that you have to go and buy extra. Oh. So if I wanted a pan set, I'd get the typical ones and then I'd have to go and buy the colours out of this. Yeah. And I thought that's, that's a win-win. That Absolutely. is a win-win to me because you've got pinks and things that you normally you don't get them in um, in a normal palette. You have to go and buy them because they're expensive. So yeah. I really love these. And of course, you can you create can even them. even more colours by mixing them up uh, even between Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this one is totally the other one. The Janini one is they're not the same colours at all. They fit in in sat with each other. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, 713597 is your item number with a saving of £8, £16 and £99 is your price. Then we have another option for you in a watercolour set. This is the Janine's uh, beautiful watercolour set. Now, can I say how much I love the names that she gives to the uh, paints? Look at that. Aren't they great? Yeah. And some of the colours, they're not justified there, but I've got colour swatches to show everybody and I've done a little trick with papers. So, yeah, it's like, again, yeah, purples. You don't often get purples in a palette. You certainly don't get greys yeah. um, and neutrals. And you've got, you know, pear. Oh, no, what's the other one? In the other one, you've got pear. And in this one, you've got something. I can't remember. Growth. Uh, growth, and, um, yeah. Growth. So you, here yeah. you have and I'm just growth. like, oh. Yeah, it's just a stunning, and it'd probably be something like a sap green, and that's an expensive paint colour. Because yeah. it all depends on the pigments, the price of the colour. It's a bit like diamonds and crystals, you know, there's a value on them. So, Absolutely. anyway, I'll shut up now, but they are great. Uh, £16 and £99 is your price. You're saving £8 for those gorgeous Janine's Mindful Art Collection. Five, seven, six, five, six, seven. Well, three seven three. Uh, I'm not so bad with numbers. I'm like it's like that. It's, uh, right, the journal. Uh, I knew that was going to be busy. Approaching twenty percent of the stock has gone. <laughs> this is a fabulous journal, though. I think you love this it one, is. don't you? I do, and uh, I'm going to be doing the first demo in this. And since I've been working in these, because. At first I thought, you know, a journal to take out, well, and now it's very rare that I don't use it every day. Yeah. And I just go to it because I can do anything on it. The pages? It's an all-round page. So, uh, is it a 300 GSM, the, the pages? It is. Yeah, you get 25 sheets, but it's got a smooth and a rough side, so we call it a hot and a not. And that just means, I just think of that as a, you know, one's not pressed and the other one is. It's like going out and out your shirt ironed. And it just makes me laugh that. That's how I remembered it. Anyway, yeah. um, it's very important that people said to me, but I don't like that side. If you don't like that side, just turn the whole set of papers over so you can work yeah. on the I other just side. Done, I just really? done that for one page, which amazing means that I have got like the smooth side across here. Yeah. And then I turn it over yeah. and I have got the rough side uh, across, uh, which means that, of course, it means more versatility. And, and if you have got a journal that is like that and, you, and it's book bound, you cannot do that. But whether this one with the ring bound, you can. Mm. That, I love that. And, and you can take the stuff out, put it in, you can put your own pockets in. But what I do like is you've got room to grow in that journal. Yes, definitely. And it's, it's, it can take a bit of battering on the outside. I mean, I like, I like journals, and, but I take them everywhere. And I'm not the, you know, the sort of gentlest of people. So this stands up to it. Yeah. But it can grow because it's got that expansion. It room. does. And we like mm. to grow. Uh, 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You're saving 8 pounds. 473705 is your item number. Now, of course, Lou, uh, we are going to be joining you for a, the first demonstration yeah. shortly. So if you want to get ready for that, we will uh, just, uh, while you do that, we will be se uh, seeing the last journal, the new art journal that we have got here as well. Oh, also, a new, sorry, returning favorite. That's the better way to put it. Uh, absolutely adore this one it has uh, of course the same pages in here with the glorious again a smooth in one side rough on the other remember that you can always turn them over and create the smooth sides towards it so it that will create a perfect um, you know kind of a smooth throughout or if you want it rough on both sides now this one is 16 by 16 centimeters you have a poly pocket as well so remember if you are doing art journaling and you want for instance I incorporate a lot of my die cuts 
and, you know, black die cuts and, you know, small pieces or of, uh, you know, fussy cuts elements. Or for instance, if you have got uh, ja uh, Janie's uh, kind of beautiful and beautiful elements, you can have them in here and then incorporate them uh, ready when you are in those pages. Remember, this is uh, around a little bit bigger than the pages itself. I think it's a little bit bigger than a six by six. So there is plenty to work with as well. 13 pounds and 49 pence is your price. You're saving six pounds, 50 pence. 599-346 is your item number. And it's of course covered in that beautiful color as well. And it's, it's kind of, this one is kind of more of a, uh, kind of, I would say it's, it's kind of really durable material. It's kind of a, a PVC sort of element that will last a long time. Right now, that is your uh, Studio Light uh, 16 by 16 art journal. But of course, we are here for demonstrations, aren't we? So let's join Lou, uh, who is going to start with the watercolors. Fabulous. Yeah, I just wanted to show you the colors um, because they don't all wait. It's a bit like hanger appeal. I just wanted to show you how I work them. So these are the colors uh, side by side. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colours. But like that, they don't give you much of an idea. Mine are well loved, as you can see. Don't worry, some people say, what about if they crack? That doesn't matter, it's just that you evap the water evaporates yeah. from them. So what I do is I get all the colours out on image journal and I do them. So I, I mix the two together, so I get all the browns together, the neutrals, the pinks. But then I've got the papers and it's oh, like a win-win yes. because I was looking and it's perfect. Absolutely. Absolute. That's why I was going so mad because I'm like this thinking you can whip these on and off if you want. Look at that. Oh. So I have got paint that matches all of my neutrals or even the Christmas. That's why I was so giddy about them. I can put it with them, with them, go with the greens, look at the greens and think, oh, no, they need to be. And that's a win-win for me. So people looking at the papers and the paint. I can't tell you how impressed I am with them and the fact that I don't need to do much work. But this is a really good exercise if you get paints and papers. See what works together. It's a really good way of start knowing what you've got because after time they're in a pile and you don't see what you've got. So I hope that helps some people. What I've done is I've done a bit of a mess. There we are, as normal. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right, so what I wanted to show you what I got was I got some waste paper. I've got some of the paper, which I don't really want to use, but I'm going to. I've got my Janini stamps, and I'm using the sunflower, which I just think it makes me think of summer. Sorry, it's, it is. it's not a bad a bad stamp. It's just got it's an adhesive thing on it, so it looks mucky, but it is clean. Um, <laughs> I've got some of the... I've mixed it slightly because I think these are quite nice. I've got some of the stamps. So I have got the the one that's like a crinkled paper. I've got a crisscross and a little bit of writing. I've created two stamps for this. Okay, so then I've got an array of stuff here. And you'll think, right, well, what's she doing with that? It looks a right mess. Well, it is until later. I've got some old book paper that I've made a hedge of with ages. So oh, I love I to keep this because I love the colour. And if I go back to... Sorry, I know this. I hope people get some out of this because this is how I learn about tone. If I look at that, I know exactly then. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And then I look at my colours. Okay. Oh, look at the greens go with them and then the brown. So it's really, really useful little, little exercise. So it goes with all of them. So I've got the paper. And then I was experimenting with inks. Because I wanted to see if I could get the feel that I wanted mixing ink. So the inks I'm using, and I'm putting a little bit of pink in it just to make it a little bit softer. And then good old, where would we be without these? Oh, so, distress inks, yeah. Exactly. And and these tonal papers, um, and depending on which one, because this is cooler and these are warmer, so that's warmer. So you've got like, you can sort of knock it back and make it a bit more neutral. Anyway, enough talking. Oh, also, I thought if you wanted to, some of the, if you've got textures at home and pieces of like fine fabrics and stuff, like you could use these and linens on them. So don't just think about paper. You can use all the stamps and very nicely and the paints on them. Anyway, I've got the journal. And it, I decided I was going to, going to sort of do something a little bit different. So I've got two pages. And what I did, I'll show you on here now. I've got a ruler. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it otherwise. And I took two out. 
and they're really thick and you can hear that it's, it's more can i put it so substantial um the, the, there isn't in um what they call them when you get extra ones um to put in but they haven't, they haven't got them spares fill fillings or <laughs> infill whatever whatever well, well i don't know i don't know what you mean um, by the way, pages, pages, extra pages. Uh, by the yeah, way, I need to say, to say though, that. we are approaching a third of the stock of the journal has gone. If you want yours, you know what to do. Check right. out your okay. basket. Well, don't surprise me. Now, I don't like a lot of measure, measuring and that because it always goes a peak, peak tongue all off. So what I do is I use the, the width of my ruler. So this ruler is about three centimeters, I think. And all I've done is I've gone all the way around using the edge. So you can see that all the way around. Um, and this is what I, what I did one day. I've done this before on the on the channel before, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit. And I was doing this with my my, um, my bottle It's just so easy. Anyone can do it. And then you can just sort of play with it inside, uh, you know, with what you want to do, like journaling, scrapbooking. So I've done this twice. I've done that twice, and I've ended up with my two pieces like that so i'm going to be working on two but only one at once but i, I need the two to be get to, together and then i'm going to be doing the third page in the book so the third page will be and if you think oh that's using a lot of pages but when you think at the end result is like the front of your book you open your book you've got this amazing front page it doesn't have to be at the front but it gets your inspiration going so back Two, two insides. If you do a, a rough one, you can turn them over and make sure they're like that. Don't worry too much. You don't need lines. We're just going to have that. So, okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose where I want my middle. So these are the bits I'm going to show you with. So I'll just move them out of the way. It doesn't look very pretty. I've chosen the stamps that I want to sort of fill in here, but I don't want to sort of... I want to fill them, but I don't want to overpower it. So I thought, if I put my main one on first, and then I can work around that. So I'm using Storm Grey, because I think I don't want the actual stamp to move. These stamps okay. are so, so beautiful. Um, I don't want the actual stamp to, to sort of move, as in colour. Yeah. But I don't mind So you the, want the, the, the ink to be permanent, so whenever you yeah. do watercolours, it's not going to fl flow. Yeah. Exactly. And I like the idea of um, threes, and I like the idea of um, sort of having like a triangle sometimes. So I've got a bit more there. I don't need to see much of them, because I'm going to go back over them in a minute. So I've got that there. And then I'm going to put another one on. And if you do need more, don't worry. Just do it, do it again. It's not like anything worrying. It's just so that you've got an idea of where your focal point in the middle is. I think I need a new stamp uh, ink. There we go. It's a bit better. So you've got that there. I'm going to move that, put that back there, and I'll just do another one to the side. So, so you are masking you the main image. The... Yeah. Um, and you can do, you can do it with all the stamps because I've discovered that they're all beautiful. So I've got this here. So I've got a little bit of overlay there, but that won't matter because once I start with my paints and things, you will not see it. I'm just going to go back over that a little bit because it's a little. And that's the thing you can use your stamp block, and I think we've got them back now. Um, but you won't see this when I perfect. Look so at that. I've got my perfect, beautiful. My, my sort of idea of where it is. Now, what I'm going to do is put them back up, and I'm just going to give myself a little, just in the corners, or any, you know, if you want to do a little bit in the middle like that, that's fine, just as long as I know where it is, because I'm going to be covering a little bit of it, but more at the top and bottom. And then I might come in a little bit and just give myself a line there. Now, that line will give it grounding because otherwise they're all floating around and what you can do if you want is if if you want to um a little trick is just just put a line there and a line there and we'll do some watercolor and make that into a pot if we want so there's a little trick anyway i'm going to use the inks very very 
Of course, Shopping you are up. using the one day special, which by the way, 20% of the stock has gone over. Uh, and of course, that is the massive stock for the 24 hours. So make sure you grab yours by checking out your baskets. Back to you, Lou. No problem. So I've got the vintage photo and I'm just putting a little bit round here. And I'm just, what I'm doing is just sort of allowing the colour to sit while I do the other stuff because I don't want it to be um, too light, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too strong and too light. And if I do it all at once, it won't layer properly. Whereas if I give time in between, I get a wonderful sort of density of colour because it's allowing it to layer. So just do that one. And you can change your colours up a bit if you want. I've got this one. Now, I don't like that line. It's, I'm not happy with that. So I've got that, but then, just so it fits in with all the stuff I'm using, like the stamps, the papers, um, and, and what I'm using later on, I'm gonna, I've used the vintage photos and the stamp, gather twigs, and the other one's uh, linen. I'm gonna bring the paints in now just to show you. So we've got a wonderful um, array of colors, and this is where you can look at what you've got, like the peach wow. will go beautifully. Yeah. The peach will go absolutely beautifully. Um, the history. Yeah. And, and, and you can just see, and I think, just to show you the colours, because it's like a yellowy, oh, it's stunning. And that bit there, which I don't really like, I'm going to use a smaller brush for this. That bit then, I can now bring in something like a little bit of the pear and just bring that in. and Because... A lot of flowers, when they're new, they're sort of greener in the middle and they uh, yeah. sort of go lighter towards the end, don't they? So just going to put this in there. Now, the paper in the um, the journals is an all-round paper. I've had people ask me, is it specifically watercolour? No, it's an all-round paper. So you can water with it, watercolour with it, but, you know, it's not purposely for that. And I think that you need to know that, although I do watercolour on it. Now... Just to point two colours out, which are absolutely amazing, and it, the Wisdom and the Stormy Grey. These two colours, you have to get extra. And these two colours put the shades in for you. So, like here, I want to just put behind that flower, just going to put a little bit of shade. Now, normally, you'd have to really mess about with black and all sorts, but it's done it for me because it's light, but it's yeah. still retaining that. Um, depth that you need so just put that on there I'm going to use maybe more of a yellow and with the yellows here they are very bright but there's a cooler one and um, a warmer one as well so again all the colors are staying within a range so I'm going to use the pair on this as well and you see how it that pair on the brown makes it more brown pair on the yellow makes it more yellow yeah so, it does yeah it's it's a little trick, isn't it? I mean, I guess I'm studying at the moment my own um, for some other artwork, and I'm looking at some of the Spanish pe Spanish book binders, and they're stunning. Yeah. And it's just opened my eyes to all the de different artworks out there. So yeah, it's been wonderful looking at all the Spanish artworks. I thought I'd just say that. It's yeah, been oh, wonderful. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, it's yeah. well, nothing. I don't know why I say thank you because obviously I have nothing to do with the Spanish art, <laughs> but it's just like kind of. Yeah, it's nice to get inspiration by other artists, isn't it? Yeah, I've been, I've been looking at them because you get inspiration from different places. You get different ideas from, um, you know, your life around you and everything. Yeah. And I just thought, you know what, when I was looking... What reminds me of this is the colours that you're using and the kind of the still love. Um, there is, um, I think it's one called Thurbaran, which is from the uh, 17th century. And it kind of oh. had some elements in it. Yeah, it's a really interesting painter as well. Not so famous, but really interesting. That's it. There's so much variety. And I think without being rude, and I hope you don't mind, I think places like Italy and Spain get, not so much Italy, but I think Spain gets overlooked. Oh, because absolutely. Yeah, it does. And, and I just looked at this wonderful colour and it's really inspired me to do this. Um, so, yeah, it was. it's just such a nice sort of soft, bright... I can't explain it. It's like sunshine, yeah. but not... 
Well, it's not sun. that you need sunglasses on. Absolutely, the sunshine of the sunflowers. By the way, uh, the Janine's watercolor collection, of course, that uh, Lou is using, 30% of the stock has got £16.99 pence with an £8 saving. Grab yours, check out the baskets. Remember that you can do it online, thecraftstore.com. Well, I'm going to just leave that to dry because it still looks a, rip, a bit dodgy, but don't worry because we're going to work into this. So I'm going to make sure you put them on the right one because otherwise it goes funny. So I'm just going to let that dry and I'm going to bring in my frames. Now you can do this this way or you can do it any way you want. But what we're going to do is going to create a ripped internal frame. So we're going to build up layers and I'm going to do it a couple of ways. So you can use, I don't want to use these, but I'm going to have to. You can use these papers or you, can, or you can keep them forever and stroke them. So I have chosen, looking at my inks and looking at the depth and the colour and the yellows, I've chosen, I'm just starting to scan them out like that so you can see that the array of colours. Oh, um, I was thinking definitely this one, definitely a mid-tone and a dark tone, I think I'll use that one. So I'm looking at something in between or a little bit lighter. That's a bit warm, but you could, like I'm gonna show you now, just use some ripped card as well. So this is old card, yeah. and this is where the book paper comes in. So all we're going to do is we need some long pieces for this here and some shorter pieces there, and we're going to do some just some ripping. Now it's got a white edge, so that means I love white edges and um, that means that I can instantly do my own sort of colouring on the edges. So I'm using them. I'm not keeping them straight exactly. I'm just sort of keeping them so I can put them down in the frame each way. I don't want them sort of all over the place. But you can do them either way. If you want the white water showing, if you want it that way or that way, it's entirely up to you. So... I've done that sheet now, and if you can see the two-tone colours, that's the same sheet, it's just a different side. So you've got a built-in framework of colour there. So I'm going to go with this one as well, and I'm going to do the same. So all you're doing is, don't don't be worried about this, because I get people, oh, you can't do that with paper, it's sacrilege. No, you because you won't, you won't mess about, you'll use all of this. Right, so, and I've got a little bit of text and a little bit of that so what if you want to do what you can do before you put it in all together just get little bits now i've got some of these beautiful elements on the one day special and they've got beautiful like really let me get a piece of paper for you they've got you can't really see them but i wanted to stamp them for you so you could uh, stop look. there we go so i just wanted to show you that it's very faint and it's very i've put it on the wrong side uh, this is a sticky thing, so that's sticky. Yeah. So I always forget and put it on the wrong side. So I'll just show you these stamps because um, they are, a lot of the time they look different stamped out than they do on the packaging, so it's nice to see them. So there's the, the text. Well, do it properly. Oh, I'm on something, that's why. Oh, I'm on the other stamp. <laughs> oh, right, now I'll try. Now we'll try. So oh, we've got some nice is, yeah. text, and then we've got a really, this is a cool one, and this is um, like crumpled paper or cracked ice, or, so we've got lovely look, and then there's this one that looks like fabric, almost like a hessian, um, and you could just draw a little lens on it to make it look like that. So you've got a whole sort of plethora of, you know, um, embellishments that you could use i'm not using them that heavy though i'm going to use them a bit lighter so uh, this was the back of one of the sets so i've got this here i can't really stamp on that so it'd be the lighter ones that I stamp on but i'll show you what i'm going to do now i'll be a bit quicker so all i'm going to do is look uh where i want it so i'm going to use the white bits and i'm just going to stamp and it doesn't really matter if it's the different side. All that matters is that you, you sort of stamp where you want to. So they get everywhere. They're annoying me now. I'm using very light ink pads because I don't want it to be a focal point. I want it to be there, but not there. An understatement. So I'm thinking I'll try with the light first. 
And if it doesn't do anything, then I can go a bit darker. So I'm using the crackly one. Okay. And I'm just, yeah, perfect. And I'm probably difficult for you to see, but it's just, it's just a tiny bit. I'll do it with a little bit of this and see, see if show it you. Yeah, it's a little just darker. Better. Yeah, there we are. That's better. So it's just, we don't need to do all of it because you're not going to see all of it. So all I'm doing is, is around the edge. Now, don't forget, you have got two sides oh, on this. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't matter which side you use. It's up to you. So if you do both sides, and what you could do is stamp before you rip, but then the white edges would still be white. It's up to you. So I'm liking that. I'm not going to put too much on, but I also like that. So I'm going to do this one as well. So what we're trying to build up is an idea of welcome you yourself or whatever your mindful day when you do your mindfulness whatever you want to do journaling or anything that it invites you to open this book and open and look in it and you you can't help but smile when you see flowers so what we're going to do is now get there was another one i wanted to do some text but i don't want to go overboard with it we'll see that's the nice thing about it we'll see what it looks like just gonna see have a play oh yeah 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 i like that oh, yeah. so have a play with the colors see what oh yes so the colors again yeah. that looks very sort of uh vintage uh, what i would do is stamp this because it's too much now i think what i will do with that is use one of my finger daubers and just color that in i don't want i want it to be seen but i don't want it to be as bright so i'm using vintage photo again but it's um it's an old one so I, I, now i you know it's funny because seeing you tear the paper from the paper pad uh, and of course you're yeah. using the naturals which is approaching i think 30 percent of the stock uh gone of that option so make sure that at home if you pick and choose whichever two you want make sure to check out your baskets a quarter of the stock for the naturals has gone <laughs> wow and you're doing four sides, and it'll make, it'll make sense in a minute. But there's again, this you might choose to use this side that's got no white water on it. That's the white water if you're not sure is that. Yeah. But I can always sh also show you that if you get this on your paint, say you wanted um, elegance, what you can do is get a little bit of elegance because it's a watercolor. It can be really fine or really strong. Um, it's not opaque, it's not opaque, but you can make it um, quite yeah. heavy, but not not um, dense. I don't even know if that makes sense, but you'll see. And I can just do the same. Now it will dry differently, but this tends to give it a tea bag look or a coffee staining because. It's colouring the paper, but then it's colouring the very thin paper, a different colour. So if I put that behind that, you'll see there's a difference, look. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got where it's where it's denser, the paper stays whiter. So it's almost like the, the colour is being concentrated there. I love that. But that's something that you can do, you know, if you choose to do it. Just do it again, because I really do like it. I'm using these little doofers. These are great. And all it is is with the colour again is it it's elegant no yeah absolutely. all right wisdom so, elegance right now is it all right to do to to just you know our time yeah. is kind of running away with us so it's how we we'll remind of yeah, the one day special is. and of course now, of course, the one day special, we'll be rejoining you Lou, in a second, uh, but the one day special, very beautiful, brand new stamps approaching a quarter of the stock. And remember, that's the quarter that should last 24 hours. Now, shall we shall we break down them into pairs? Right. So if you wanted to buy bundles, so uh, the flowers and script, you can see it here, the beautiful sunflower, you can buy them on the, uh, their own, £11.98 with a saving of £3. Look at gorgeous how gorgeous do they look thank you rachel uh, then we have of course the dahlia and the grunge uh, the, the or dahlia dahlia does i don't know exactly which one it is uh, now 
So if you want to go for this bundle, 11.98 is your price. You're saving three pounds, 614.903. Remember that saving of three pounds. Now, if you wanted to go for the peony and decorative, uh, you can go for that one, 13 pounds and 98 pounds again with a three pounds saving. And finally, if you wanted to go for the floral and the kind of beautiful violets as well, you have got that option as well. Again, another three pounds saving. So let's say that we wanted them all for bundles. So you, that would be a 12 pound saving. However, that 12 pound saving is carried forward and then an additional three pounds. So it means a 15 pound saving. 48 pounds and 92 pence is what you pay as a non-freedom member and on top of course you pay p and b however as a freedom member you have got an additional 10 percent discount and you don't pay pmp which means that your total saving is 19 pounds and 89 pence i mean I adore the samples that finally have arrived. So you can say a massive thank you to Rachel and Liz and of course um, our floor manager, uh, Maddie and Charlotte have, have found the box and they have been able to rescue the samples and you can see them here. How gorgeous do they look in here? How gorgeous these samples. Of course, the stencil, love that Rachel. Absolutely stunning, the, the, the background and then of course the beautiful flowers and a look at my favorite peony a stamp on to paper uh, and to book paper and then fussy cut with the background you can see a mix of the stencils there and then the ballads i mean how gorgeous is that absolutely stunning and you can see the collage using the and uh, can you see the gorgeous beautiful grunge uh, stencil as well as the letters as well as the decorative it's absolutely stunning to go for this collection because you can layer those stencils you can create those beautiful ballads into different color gorgeous in color gorgeous combinations 48 pounds and 92 pence if you're not a freedom member, but if you're a freedom member, remember that it will, as a flexi, there is flexi freedom. So as a, fr a freedom member today, 22 pounds and two pence is all you're paying for this whole bundle. And of course you pay the second installment next month. And now the saving is actually to get in one of the stamps and um, you know, if as a freedom member, you are not paying for the larger bundle here, for instance, because that's how it works out. Right, a 747-615 is your item number for the one day special then we have the essential of flowers here 20 percent of the stock has gone and again beautiful brand new um, bundle with a glorious arabian jasmine the iris the tulip and the cosmos love that arabian jasmine I never knew it existed. That's amazing. And then the Cosmos, which is, of course, the one that I call Daisy, but you can see there. Absolutely stunning what you can create as well with the Cosmos. Again, I think it's, this is one by Liz Weller. You can see stamping on to fabric, coloring in those beautiful colors. And of course, you can look at the size of this. I mean, you can see the size of this ginormous, beautiful, fills up that beautiful cars. And of course that means that there is a lot of empty spaces that you can bring in to your creations. But also means that you have got the smaller ones in here that you can mix and match. Thank you so much, Liz Weller, and of course, Rachel Harris for these amazing samples. Uh, 890695 is your item number with a seven pounds and 50 pence saving. Right, paper pad, been very, very busy. Make sure to make your selection because it's a pick and mix you've made the selection and then you check out your baskets because otherwise you might miss the 20% uh, of the pastel option has gone and of course you have I love how um, Lou had been cutting the other strip and so she could see exactly the colors and you can see the absolutely stunning colors 170 GSM so you're getting 36 sheets per pack 18 colors in each of them so you're getting two of each double-sided now then you have your brights which is my favorite 20 percent of the color the option has gone excuse me i've got a frog in my my throat uh, mm. uh i have got some water there so i'll, I'll kind of i'll, I'll don't be I'll, I'll be i'll survive that that you know little tickle uh right you can see here the brides and then fine and uh, then we have got the christmas which is i think is a really good uh, idea to get it now over 20 percent of the stock has gone so make sure to check out your baskets love those greens and then finally we have got the naturals which are quarter of the stock has gone 
I think it makes a lot of sense to go for this one, especially if you like your art journals, your vintage, and like uh, Lou was showing, those beautiful possibilities. 10 pounds and 48 pence is your price. Two to five, one eight zero is your item number. Then we have the Essentials Watercolor Palette. 18 colors in here. So you have got the mixing tray, you have got the index as well. And then of course you have got your two water brushes. I'm gonna show you the end so you can see that you have got a flat brush which is perfect for big skies and also if you want to do a kind of a tree you use it the upward so you have got a final line and then you can do just kind of the branches like that now 20 percent of the stock has gone if you want to grab yours do check out your baskets you have got beautiful colors mixing palettes as well 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. I love how it closes as well. So you have got like a proper traveling palette. 713597 is your item number. The Janine's um, Mindful Artful uh, watercolor set, 40, approaching 40% 40 of the stock has gone. Love the names. I mean, you have got like, for instance, it's almost like say, tell me what's your favorite color, Maddie? What's your favorite color? Yeah, pink. So she's pink, so she's a faction. Oh, Janie it has. Uh, so, what's your favorite color? Definitely, Definitely pink. She's like that. So, it's a faction. Uh, now, Molly, which one would be your favorite color? The emerald green. So, that would be hope. And Marcus, he he likes the dark blue. Loyalty. See whether I'm I'm I'm. See, I'm bright, so I'm a strength. I don't think so, you know, so I, you know, I think I'm more passionate, but anyway. But the colors, uh, right, remember that if you go for both of them, the, uh, uh, Lou has said that they are different colors, so I trust Lou. So Lou has mentioned that they are different, but you can mix and match. 567373 is your item number, 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price with a saving of eight pounds. The journal, incredibly popular, 40% of the stock has gone. Now in here, we have what I love. Art journals is always a great idea. Now, uh, there are, we all collect them. We have got different sizes. And what I love about this one is the fact that it's kind of this overlap in here that already is fabulous quality. You have the elastic band. So again, if it grows, it can grow with you. Now, then you have got a ring binder, which means that you can take the pages out and you have this card socket, which is more of a mixed media card. It's the one that, that of course, Studio Light uses all the time. And you have got that rough texture on one side, or, or I would say a cold press watercolor pad. And then in the other side is a hot press or a smooth. The great thing is that, of course, every page you have got the choice which side you are using. And unlike a book bound, um, you know, art journal, whether the pages are stuck, these ones you can mix and match. You can bring them in. You can bring more memorabilia. As long as you have got a hole punch, you can add more pages if you wanted to. It has got a bulk uh, kind of closure in here as well. 16 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving eight pounds. 473.705 is your item number. And then a quarter of the stock of this one has gone now. It's really cool, isn't it? It's 30 sheets in here. Again, 300 GSM is the same car. So exactly that you have got in the other one. So you have got the more smoother side and more rougher side, which I love. Uh, the ring bound is just two different uh, here. And then you have got the zip, uh, zip pocket as well. As mentioned, you know, the paper is uh, 300 GSM. And of course, it's the same across all, uh, you know, our studio light. So that means that, of course, you know exactly how they work. 16 by 16 is the size, and of course, you have got that art journal page uh, number in that. No, no, label <laughs> namer. Uh, 599346 is like, that's what I was thinking. Numbers uh, now 13 pounds and 49 pence is your price, saving six pounds and 50 pence. Let's rejoin Lou, who is coloring in and using bits and pieces. So, Lou, back to you. <laughs> Well, I've just put a little bit of water onto this. Just, I'll go back and show you. And I've just used the ink pads and the colours so that they all work together. But the, the, the crux of the story, so to speak, is this. That might look a bit crazy at the moment, but what I've decided to do was infill, so sandwich these areas. So it's up to you. Now, we work backwards um, so that you get an idea, but you have to work forwards as well. You have to see what you're doing. Now, I'm going to use a dry stick today because it's just going to be easier. And what you do, basically, is you're just going to get 
the edge of this and you're just going to put a little bit of glue there and there and there and you can use pva you can use anything choose the side you want this looks a bit dull but it's all right now i only want a little bit showing so before i put it down properly yeah okay that will do so just stick that down now this is the only one that sticks really to this so now i'll look at that do i want i don't want it to sort of overtake a bit more so what i'm doing is just Perfect. Don't matter if that's a bit tough because you can do that. So we've got a torn edge. Now I'm going to do, going to do it at the top. Now this paper it's perfect because as you do this, you don't waste any. I, I could not waste any. I couldn't. So it fits perfectly at the top. And the next bit where it is down here fits at the bottom. Now I would use wet glue. I would use wet glue because I think it works. Yeah. Now, you'll sort of see it working better as I move on. Now, the next layer is going to go on Ooh. top of this and just slightly inside. I so, do I like that? Yes, yeah. I do. I like that frame. That's inviting me. Uh, so, I'm going to use now a little bit of text. Now, think if you're having it that way, do you want the text readable? Would you like it to be like that? Um do you want it bright? Or would you have it? And just play around with where you want it. Do you want it? Well, I don't mind it being upside down, but, you know, some people it might be a bit really annoying. And that's fair enough. That's fair enough. So you just sort of get your bits like that. I um, really like that now. So next is you just get your glue stick. And the idea is either stick it down all of it down so you, you glue in this way if you're going to do that you need a piece of scrap or anything an old magazine is brilliant and um, and glue from the middle and out that way and then that way you don't interfere with all this lovely edge because if you start like that you'll yeah. pull it up so it's just a little tip from a spanish book binder oh. and i was like oh yeah you see they know how to glue papers and stuff so <laughs> right let me quick well this lady there monique martin um yeah Mon 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 she's on it martin and she's just Mon she's won all these prizes and i was just mesmerized and i wanted to tell janie because janie is a, a book fiend like me so just if you want to this is the other way you can do it take that away because it's got glue on it um you can place your paper down and then do that so but because i've got a bit of extra page here i can use a bit more at the top yeah, now i've absolutely. got that black line i'm not too happy with so i won't use that but you can see how you're going to need glue it's it's one of these it's that you really have to stick with it you have to keep with the whole you have to keep with the whole thing because at the moment it doesn't look anything it looks awful I don't know if you saw that hand come in then trying to take my piece of paper, but that was quite funny. If you ever remember the Adams family. Yes. There was a thing on the telly and it, it was a thing called It. Yeah. Well, Matt was just trying to take this bit of paper and I'm like, mm -hmm. so it was like cousin it, the It. It I was like, I love this. Right. So love the that. last one. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want. This is entirely up to you. Now, I would ser seriously think about what you want to do. Now, I've used the lovely patterned edge here. And I'll just show you what I mean. Because you could have it with that on. Or you could leave it with a text. Or you could do a brighter one so that you like going down a, a rabbit hole. Yeah. So... You know, like Alice in Wonderland, you could sort of have light, medium and dark going. See, that's what that looks like now. Um, but I like this one, so I'm going with this because I've done it and I don't want to waste paper. And here, I've got my glue. I know we've not got the time. Oh, but we the, have the got the about that, four minutes, uh, three, three minutes. Yeah, brilliant. Well, the only thing that's always put me off is the gubbins at the back. I've always thought, you can see all that. I'm really not happy about being able to see it all. So... I came up, I'm, I'm sure I'm not, the, we're never the first, are we? We're, we're never the first people to do it. Yeah. There's always someone else who's done it. Absolutely. So there we've got just a little bit of it. And then I'm going to put, I'm going to do it this way now so that I can just, yeah, that's it. And I think this is such a nice way 
of inviting people to look in your sketchbook. If you want them to, you don't have to. Oh, I love it. Now, they might not want that. Uh, they might. Uh, yeah. But I quite like that now. Now, you don't have to put them on all sides. You can do if you want, if you wish to put a little bit like that and just have it poking out like that. Actually, I like that. You see, look at all the bits. It looks awful, awful. But this is where I thought, right, That's it's a... worth sacrificing your paper. And Sometimes it looks horrible like, from the back and then it turns oh, over yeah. and it's just That's beautiful. Put me off, Honestly, it's put me looking at this, I think nothing nice to this, but I thought if I got But there is an, there is also an artist, a Spanish artist, look for it, uh, Juan Gris, uh, from it's a contemporary of Picasso. Oh, Juan, Juan Gris, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Juan Gris. And that reminds yeah. me a little bit of Juan Gris. Absolutely, absolutely. I studied he was, him. Yeah. He's an amazing sure. so, yeah. so yeah. like, you know. I can see the Spanish influence. It was really, really, really. I, I just so delightful to see all the the, the, the colours that we don't. It, it's what you get used to in co yeah. different countries, isn't it? It's like what's popular in things. Yeah. So it's wonderful to see it. Right. So now I've got. It looks like that at the back, which isn't bad, but you've got this wonderful oh, sandwich. Love that. And then, love this technique. And then look at that. Thank you so much, so, Lou. You will be joining us uh, at eight o'clock as well. Uh, so we will look forward to seeing you at eight. Thank you so much, Lou. Uh, but I want to remind everybody else to uh, check out their baskets, especially for Janine's uh, beautiful art color collection of watercolors. 40% of the stock has gone. And of course, you have got colors like a strength, uh, affection, devotion, mystery, wisdom, elegance. Oh, I like a little bit of elegance, of course, black. And I love those names as well but of course is the quality of that watercolor with the water brushes and the mixing palette that is included in here and also included that kind of print out so you can create that your own color palette now amazing saving with eight pounds uh, put it put it in with of course your one day special and then you can flexify that as well don't forget the art journals don't forget of course to stay tuned here at the craft store because we are approaching a 30 percent of the one day special and make sure to check out your baskets. But after the break, we have got even more inspiration. Of course, Janie and of course the beautiful, I kind of have to remember how to pronounce the name, but I'm sorry, but I'll see you in an hour's time.